Here's a good example of energy conversion. We're going to start with a bicycle that's hooked up to a small motor in the back. And as I turn the crank, what we're going to get is a mechanical energy turned into electrical energy. As that's turned into electrical energy, you'll notice up here we have some blue lights coming on. And that's giving me a voltage. Okay, I'm sitting on the bike now and I'm going to start pedaling and that's going to turn my mechanical energy into electrical energy as it turns that motor in the back, that electric motor. As that electric motor starts putting voltage out, you're going to see it pop up right here on this capacitor. This smooths the charge out just enough so that the inverter, which likes to see 12 to 16 volts, is going to be able then to power these light bulbs that we see here. This is a 400 watt inverter. So let's start pedaling. You notice there's some blue lights coming on there. And now I'm generating around 11 volts DC. The inverter will take the DC and change it to alternating current, which is necessary to get the lights to operate. So as long as I have this a little above 12 volts, it should be OK to turn the inverter on. And now I'm powering that light bulb, which is only a, a 9 watt light bulb. So this conversion right now is mechanical energy of me pedaling into electrical energy. Then as it goes to the light, the light energy is electromagnetic energy.